Why don't you come over? I'll fix you up with my sister. If I can guess the thing, I can go. <laughs> so it's all it's four numbers. It's the difference between going to North Korea and not. How many people would buy rice here? On this channel, we cover the important stuff. Like what's the merch sitch and none of that boring war and history stuff. The fog is crazy. It's a great day to go look and take photos. It doesn't even look like that video does it justice, but like you cannot see. Good thing is they have Duncan at the North Korea, South Korea border. So that's nice. Disappointing there's no McDonald's, but we'll have to make do. We can buy DMZ churros. There's a fence in case you want to jump and run. I don't know how close I can go, but there's guard towers and multiple barbed wires. What kind of merchandise can you buy at the border? Well, it turns out you can buy a sheriff's cap, cowboy hat with a badge. DMZ caps. Sadly, it's not open yet. Who wouldn't want a DMZ hat? There's a shelter. This is get the hell out of here. I don't know if this is gonna pick it up, but there's an announcement going on over there. Some type of an announcement coming on the other side of the border. Pretty devo, I can't buy a DMZ hat. Good thing is there's an electric vehicle charging station here. I'm really not sure if that's coming through, but you can hear a North Korean announcement. That's blocked off, so I probably don't want to be crossing the wrong place here. Of all the places where it's probably not safe to walk past the barrier. No idea what that says, but I assume something to do with peace. That free Wi-Fi at the DMZ. Good thing is that if you're crossing the border, you can actually get free Wi-Fi, so important to know. Hopefully there's no one complaining on TripAdvisor about the slow speed of the Wi-Fi as you walk to North Korea. I guess it says something. No dogs at the DMZ. No sledding. No sledding. It's actually a massive complex. Ooh, DMZ. You too could ride a bike along the barbed wire fence. Bit of an odd place to promote, I guess, but I don't know. They even have signs for music festivals. They appear to sell bow and arrows at the DMZ. It's a bit odd, but yeah. You can practice your archery. You can hike along the DMZ. This guy looks excited. There's the fence. I mean, it's all blocked off here, so. I think technically, I don't know if I'm meant to be here, but I've walked here now. <laughs> so, oopsie daisy. That is some intense fencing. This whole thing is made way more eerie by the fact you can't see much. This fog situation is like, wow. Dunkin' Donuts is closed. I don't know if it's open yet. This one? Nothing like coffee at the DMZ. Somehow Dunkin' Donuts is closed, but there's Dunkin' Donuts wrappers out here as if someone's eaten it. She thinks that could be Dunkin' Donuts in Elmer's side. Not on this side, the other side. You mean in North Korea? Oh. <laughs> so all these tours, they come and then they, have, they get their tickets and then they have to wait until... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems a weird system. Is it quieter than normal here? 
Yeah. There doesn't seem to be a lot of people here. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's high tension between. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So people are scared to come here now. I don't think so. Ah. Someone forgot their shoe. At the DMZ. So this is train tracks that leads to North Korea. Used to. Used to. Mm. This is the old railway. You know, old railway. It was like a cross country uh, railway from. Busan, all the way to up to Shimizu, the northernmost city mm. of North Korea. And this train was bombarded in the DMZ area and left in ruins like this. This one over here. For the case. Ah. So we are relocated here to demonstrate, you know. So they shot this a lot, you know? Yeah. It's so many bullet holes. Okay, this yellow line is like a civilian control line. Okay? From is like off limit, okay? But you can enter because we paid money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool, box is still visible. So many farms. Wow, this is the worst fog I've ever seen. This is something you never want to hear on a tour. I <laughs> know, you can just see the uh, fog. <laughs> and it's something you never normally see on Instagram, YouTube, or any social media. Tons of uh, Chinese tourists in, in Seoul, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they been on like a very cheap tour. Ah, so really? Turkish, yeah. you know, they pay just like a minimum, like a very fair. Yeah. Like a less than 10, 100 dollars per person. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> So they had to go to the menu of the shopping center. Ah, okay. <laughs> to make a photo, you know, lost yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. Is there many tour guests that like get in trouble that do the wrong thing? No, not really. No. They, they know it's like a military controlled, you know. Yeah. Some, sometimes. Have you ever seen any? Uh, one time our bus driver missed the two guests back there. Oh, they left them there. <laughs> yeah, we had to come, uh, we get back to re retrieve them. How did they know? Some, I don't know. Someone there was an em empty seat oh. on, the, on the bus. The tour bus, tour, tour bus, uh, bus driver was, like, was kind of new. Oh. <laughs> so he thought everybody's here. Yeah, yes, yeah. And then the one time, one of the lady, local lady, broke away from the group. Oh. To find some, to, ca to find some, collect some vegetables in the mall here. Oh, <laughs> she just tried to collect vegetables. Yeah, it's crazy, you know. Yeah. So everybody got sent to the police station. Oh, wow. military police station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that. And that, not to me. And sometimes, uh, tourists get mixed up with the other group, right? They go yeah. down to the, you know, the tunnel one, one time, one, one more, and you know, we cannot find them. Oh. We cannot access. We cannot contact them <laughs> because they are in the tunnel. Yeah, yeah. Especially gurus, there are two ways to go yeah, down, get down to the, in the tunnel, uh, walk past. Yeah. It's very steep on the way back. Oh. You have to walk, walk, walk like a 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Very steep uh, here. And then we got, we're going to take a monorail. Yeah. It's an easy way. So yeah. monorail guests can oftentimes get mixed with other tour, tour group. With oh, the, the, yeah. the monorail is on yeah, the yeah, yeah. And they walk down the... <laughs> Oh. Turn on once again. Oh, <laughs> and they go back down. And yeah. then everybody watching, you know, watching for them. Oh. Yeah. Something like that. So the infiltration the, tunnel. Yeah. It was, oh. So, so you, uh, during the tour, you're going to take a monorail to access the North Korean tunnel. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna, and then you're going to walk down to North Korean tunnel like a 300 meters. Mm -hmm. One of the annoying things about the DMZ is you can't take photos or videos of the cool stuff. You can take a monorail down to a secret tunnel dug by the North that they found, but you can't take photos down there. And the weird thing is the North know what it looks like since they built it. Good thing I had the helmet on because I got smashed in the head so many times. <laughs> you couldn't bring the, the camera down the tunnel. I pushed the globe. Okay, let's get back to bus. Our guide was former military and was super punctual, so taking forever for selfies delaying the bus was a fun game of cat and mouse. One more? To see how much he would put up with. Okay, we have to get to the bus, right? Let's get to the bus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, your stuff. South Korea towards the north with its 24-7 electricity. Okay, let's Wait, go. so they can see that, that from North Korea? Yeah. Right ah, okay. North Korea. Oh. Aww. Let's go up the observatory. So you use electricity to show off against them. Yeah. <laughs> Is it and, true? And, I, and I, there's a saying that there's underground church in the school. Oh. Ah, oh. oh, so like a black market mm -hmm. church. Is it true what they say about um, like that they believe that he, like, can 
and he has all these superpowers and whatever and like superpower well like he, he can play oh. perfect games of golf and bowling oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they kind of push the story they yeah yeah it. do that actually is that actually real or is that I don't know, okay. Because yeah, there's like all these sayings of like that he doesn't use the toilet and all this kind of stuff. And <laughs> so I wasn't sure if that's just taking it crazy or if there is some truth to that or... Mm. Then we hit the gift shop, which had a lot of weird branded items. Yeah. These are souvenirs? Yeah, yeah. You can buy North and DMZ golf balls. Binge. Snacks. I've seen dramas. So what, the North Sorry. Korean snacks? So. No, like they just eat it. Oh. So these are these are not North Korean stuff. No. They no. used to sell North Korean liquor here. Yeah. But it's not imported no more. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all just South Korean. Yeah. Because uh Importing those Korean products is kind of under the United Nations sanction. Ah, okay, yeah. Buy a toothbrush. I don't know who is going to the DMZ to buy a toothbrush. Huh? Let me just point out, this is not just any rice, it's DMZ branded rice. Yeah, this is the sheriff's hat that they had double. Rice, for a souvenir. Rice. How many people would buy rice here? Locals. Ah, <laughs> oh, locals, okay. Mm. So this is a store for locals. Locals? I mean the tourists. Tourists? Tourist locals, not okay. locals here. Yeah, but local, still, local. how many, even if you're a local tourist, how many people are going to buy Maybe they can 20 kilos bring of rice? to the car in the parking lot. All jokes aside, I have no idea why a South Korean would go to the DMZ to buy their rice. There's also signs back there when we were going in that no, no pigs. Hmm? Why do they have signs for that? No pigs? Yeah. Because of uh, African swine pig fever. Yeah, but who would take a pig to the DMZ thing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I asked the That's tough questions. Mean, yeah. Okay, you can use this one, you use this one, right? Yeah. That's the North Korean guard post. Oh, wow. Oh, I can see it. Wow. Apparently, the guards try to lure other guards across the border with dating their sisters. They chat with, uh, with, with their counterparts, kind of a uh, psychological warfare, you know? Oh. <laughs> Why don't you come over? I'll fix you up with my sister. Oh, really? Really? Is she pretty? <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, let's talk it over tonight, tomorrow. <laughs> I asked if anyone defected the other way, and apparently someone did during the pandemic to escape gambling debts. But North Korea buried him at sea to block any virus getting in. I think the guide's gonna freak this way. It's like one second late. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment to support McDonald's and KFC opening at the DMZ. It's actually good, like really good. Remembering that McDonald's in Korea have churros and KFC has beer. And if you made it this far, you'll enjoy one of these other unique adventures too.